Hi there, my name is Dr. Steve Zaniga. I am a neurotologist here at Showhead Ear Associates. I'm here to talk to you guys today about one of the most common conditions that we see, which is eustachian tube dysfunction. The eustachian tube is a narrow tube that connects the back of people's nose to their ear. One of its primary functions is to equalize pressure on either side of the eardrum. Anybody who's taken a flight and has had ear pressure or ear pain on descent knows how important proper eustachian tube function is. We see a lot of patients who come to see us who have fullness or pressure in their ears, a sense of muffled hearing or even pain as a result of eustachian tube dysfunction. There's a lot of things that can be done for this and there's a lot of things that contribute to it. In many cases, our patients also have some type of issue going on with their sinuses, whether that's seasonal allergies, chronic sinus infections, or even uh, recovering from COVID-19 infection. Inflammation in the sinonasal cavity, the passages of the nose and the sinuses, causes inflammation not only in that area, but also in the back of the nose, which is where the eustachian tube opens. They, ended, they added inflammation as well as the mucus clogs up the eustachian tube and can prevent it from working properly. Here at Show at Ear Associates, we take a comprehensive look at eustachian tube dysfunction. It requires us doing a variety of different things. Seeing the patient in the office, getting a sense of what their story is, looking at their ears under one of our microscopes, as well as comprehensively evaluating the nose. We do that in a couple of different ways. We look in the nose with specialized instruments here in the office, as well as a small flexible camera to evaluate the entire sinus cavity, as well as the opening of the eustachian tube in the back. We'll also put you through a comprehensive hearing test or audiologic evaluation. We wanna make sure that the ears are working properly, both from the standpoint of hearing, but also with the standpoint of being able to equalize pressure on either side of the eardrum. There's a variety of different treatments that can be done for eustachian tube dysfunction. This includes managing sinus and nasal symptoms, including allergies, using topical medications. We also have the opportunity to provide people with allergy testing to identify specific things that they might be allergic to and tailor treatment options specific to those things. Managing um, ear symptoms can also be done with a variety of different devices that facilitate popping of the ear, what we call autoinsufflation. 